Cardiovascular disease risk, also known as CVD risk, refers to a person's chance of having a heart attack or stroke. The risk is caused by many factors. And in most people, the risk level can be lowered by making lifestyle changes and taking medicine. Here are the top five lifestyle changes that can help lower your CVD risk. First, drink less alcohol. Alcohol can damage your blood vessels and increases your blood pressure. The less you drink, the better. Second, eat a heart healthy diet. Vegetables and fish are especially good to eat, whereas sugary and processed foods can increase your cholesterol levels and CVD risk. Drink water instead of sugary drinks. And limit your salt intake because salt will increase your blood pressure. Third, Get some exercise. Exercise is good for your blood pressure, weight, and stress levels, all of which impact your CVD risk. Try walking every day to help lower your risk. Fourth, manage your stress levels. Stress can be harmful to your cardiovascular system. For example, it can increase your blood pressure, which damages your blood vessels. There are many ways to manage stress. Find the way that works best for you. Fifth, don't smoke. The chemicals in cigarettes cause many changes to your body that greatly increase your CVD risk. For example, they damage your blood vessels and cause more plaque. This restricts blood flow and increases your blood pressure. They also make your blood thicker and stickier, which increases the chance of blood clots forming. People who smoke have double the chance of developing a blood clot that causes a stroke. But if you quit smoking, many of these changes can be reversed. These are the most important lifestyle changes you can make to lower your CVD risk. Even though these lifestyle changes are helpful for everyone, they may not always be enough. Some people also need to take medicine, such as statins, to lower their cholesterol levels. You can talk with your doctor about the different options, and together, you can make a plan to lower your risk of cardiovascular disease.